Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Yakuza Zero. Um, like and subscribe. So last time, I did three little miscellaneous sub stories that weren't connected to anything else. Uh, they were pretty cool. Well, one of them was cool. The other two were kind of. Eh. But, I was, I was looking through the list, and the one other... So there's two more miscellaneous ones, and one of them was a telephone club. I somehow missed one, even though I did telephone club way super long ago. Way super long ago. So I just went ahead and did that off screen. I was looking for Mirei. Luckily, I got it first try. Didn't have to do it again. Murray might be here already. Short hair and blue clothes, she said. Is that her? No one else who might be her. Better introduce myself. Are you Murray? Hmm. Oh. Oh, hello there. You're late, you know. Sorry. What happened, Shnookums? Did you lose your way? Yeah, I am starting to feel like I lost my way. My, my. You're a little silly Billy. I think that's cute, though. Is that right? Oh, my. Don't tell me. Is she going to notice there's no chemistry here? You're already falling hard for me, I can tell. You can look my way, tough and buff stuff. Yeah. This is so wrong. It's okay, my stud biscuit. We've only just met, and the night is still young. This is about to be a crisis. Shall we go? Yeah. Cutie, cutie, coon? What? Huh? Where? Oh, I like it when you play coy. You know where. Somewhere hot and sleazy. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. I think we should talk about this. We don't need to rush. Ooh, you're so hot when you're flustered. <laughs> See you around, telephone boy. I feel like I lost something. I'll never get back. The rosebed of the telephone club has its thorns. And there, there, there you go. Which very much confused me because... Like, okay, so look at this, right? We've got the regular telephone club girls. We've got the Sakura. There's multiple Sakuras, by the way, they just don't show up. You got her, but then... The other two are down here for some reason. Why are they separated by the pocket circuit ones? I don't know, it's weird. Okay, but now, we have this one. And this one is pretty good. I got shit. I was pressing the button too fast. God damn it. Where does that put me? Actually, this works. Because what we're looking for is right around there. 
Oh shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Go away. Oh, hello, Mr. Libido. Actually, since I'm nearby Vincent. Hello, Mr. Moneybags. It's one more for Curious Mr. Moneybags. Alright, now let's go do this sub story. Okay, so, yeah, her right here. Um, excuse me. Please, I need some help. Drunk pervert is harassing my friend. Please, please come help her. All right, where is she? Thank you. Over here, quick. They're just through here. And this drunk's all alone. Does he have any friends? Where'd she go? <laughs> What's going on here? Nice dodge. Not bad for a shitty Yakuza. I was told there'd be a drunk pervert. <laughs> You're too gullible, asshole. <laughs> Figures. So that girl's your accomplice. What do you want from me? I just have a small favor to ask. Do society a favor and die. Oh yeah? Yeah, man? Well, check this out. set up an ambush and then you beg for mercy? Not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? Let's see your face. <laughs> Just a kid. So, what's your story? Did someone pay you to kill me? No, it isn't like that. Uh? Then why'd you target me? You on the Dojima family payroll? Ojima family. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know any Dojima family. I didn't care who it was as long as it was a Yakuza. It didn't even have to be you. Nani? What? <sighs> I hate Yakuza. Be better world if they all die. <laughs> people who are fond of the Yakuza are pretty rare, but I'd say it's even rarer to find a nut job wanting to jump people in a back alley for no damn reason. How old are you? I'm 16. Mm. High school, then. Screw high school. I'm in a biker gang. <laughs> so you're some biker gang grunt. Who makes you think I'm a grunt? Yeah. Right. What's your name? Tanaka. Shinji Tanaka. Shinji Tanaka. Well, what's your deal? What family are you with? I'm a civilian, not a Yakuza. Yeah, right. 
I'll ask one more time, Shinji. Nobody put you up to this. That's right. Then why do it? Yakuza destroyed my family. My old man ran into cash flow trouble flipping real estate. The Yakuza sharks smelled blood in the water. They took everything. My mom was smart. She ran at the first sight of trouble. Those assholes came and beat on my old man every day. And the old man would beat on me because he could. But that stopped once I hit him back. Now he sits around hugging a bottle. It makes me want to put him out of his misery. I couldn't stand being around him, so I hit the streets. And you thought mugging Yakuza was the answer? If I'm gonna steal to live, Yakuza are totally fair game. They're all thieves anyway. And they've got reputations to uphold. They can't go crying to the cops if they get their asses kicked. Uh. You're walking a fine line. If they catch you, they'll kill you without a second thought. <laughs> it's fine. Only ones who know I'm doing this are my bike gang. Guys I can trust. Hope that works out for you. Hey, where do you think you're going? What, you need me to listen to more of your life story? As long as you're not answering to a higher power, I'm done with you. But since you're letting me speak my mind... Quit this Yakuza hunting thing while you're ahead. You're only still alive through dumb luck. When they catch you, and they will, they'll pay you back tenfold. Whatever. I haven't met a Yakuza as tough as you yet. As long as they're alone, they go down like chumps. I enjoy listening to them beg for mercy. That said, when you kicked my ass, I seriously thought I was dead. Fine. You do what you want. I'm not gonna argue about it with a grown man. That kid's gonna be dead sooner or later, but I did what I could. I've got my own problems right now. Damn. Damn. Now, you saw it's not done yet. I don't remember how to trigger the next bit. It may just be going in a place, then coming out. Just regular guys. Hmm. How do I trigger the next part? Apparently, I gotta go to West Park and then come back in. Let's try that. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. There. There you go. It's just on the map. talking to me. You see anybody else, come with us. We need to have a little chat. Who are you guys? Doesn't matter who we are, but you on the other hand. You know a kid named Shinji Tanaka? He told us all about you. You don't need me to spell out the rest, do you? Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Don't play dumb with me. Use that kid to go after our boys. What? kid ratted you out, so quit playing dumb and come along. This is what happens when you screw with the Jinsei family. You guys caught Shinji? What did you do with him? <laughs> Your concern for that little shit is real touching. It's as good as a signed confession. You're the guy he's working for. Don't worry about a thing. You'll see him real soon, so quit dragging your ass and come with us. No wonder the Jinsei family is a shit stain of a third string family. You guys don't know anything about etiquette. 
You want to take me somewhere? You better bow first. If you can't do that, then piss off. Nah, you fucking punk. Forget it, we'll beat the shit out of you here now. Oh, you think so, huh? You really think so? Come here. Ooh, yeah, yama. That's your ass bone. Gone. Eviscerated. Shakedown. Who the hell is this guy? This is crazy. Where's Shinji? That punk better still be alive. Hey. Show me where he is. You ought to know. I'm not the guy pulling his strings. He lied to you. What? He dragged me into this, and he's going to pay for it. Oh, I, I see. So that's how this went down. We're on the same page, though, man. Then take me to him now. Quit stalling. Yes, sir. <laughs> Didn't expect to find a kid like this mauling our boys. So, where's the guy filling this punk's head with ideas? Still can't find him? Yeah, not sure what the holdup is. You... you did come for me. Well, well, well. So this is our mastermind, eh? Huh? Wait, where's the boys who brought you? <laughs> They're taking a nap outside. You sure pulled out all the stops to deal with one stupid kid. What a circus. Huh? Wait a minute. I... I recognize this bastard. Huh? It's Kiryu. The Dojima family put a bounty on him. It's the guy the Dojima family's after. Kazuma Kiryu. You're shitting me. Kazuma Kiryu. Why would a walking dead man invite this kind of shit? Like I'd bother hunting down weaklings like you. Shinji here shoved a load of BS down your throats. <laughs> so that's the story. Well, screw it. I don't give a shit anymore. It's our lucky day. All we gotta do is take this cloud to the Dojima family and win the good graces of the most powerful family in Kamurocho. Alright. Hey, for facing. He's our ticket to the big leagues. You really think you got what it takes, huh? Oh. Oh, you got stuff in here. You don't even deserve dragon. Give me the couch. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just you left. Hmm. How do I finish you? Hmm. I'll just keep it simple. Planting a dumbass tree. You are freakishly tough. So you're Kazuma Kiryu. I heard about you. The whole Dojima family's out hunting for you. That's brutal, man. You're taking on the whole Dojima family by yourself. Wish I had half that kind of strength. They worked you over pretty good. Did that pound some sense into that thick skull of yours? As if. How did they find out you were the one going after them? Someone in the gang ratted me out. They got scared the Yakuza would come after them if my cover got blown. So they turned me over in exchange for their safety. Mm. <laughs> when I think about it, I can see why they did it. 
I was an idiot for trusting them. One more question. Why'd you tell these goons that I was the one ordering you to go on this Yakuza beating spree? Yeah. Because if I didn't give them something, these guys were going to take me out and bury me off in the mountains. And I figured there was no way they could take you on. So I gave them a description. I told them you were my boss. I had to. I thought maybe you'd come save me. You just seemed like that kind of guy. What the hell? What do you think you're doing? What have you been doing with your whole life? The gun's to your head, and the first guy who comes to mind is a complete stranger you've only met once. No family, friends, or relatives you could trust to throw out there. Instead, you've been acting like some vigilante jackass trying to take out the Yakuza until they finally won. What the hell is that kind of life? Nobody ever taught me to trust. I never had anyone around to show me what to do, so I figured it out as I went. No one taught me anything about how to live. <laughs> Grow up. You can't blame this on your father or the people who failed you. You have to fight your own damn battles. I'm no exception. I'm trying my damn hardest to live. But you're so damn strong. I was just lucky I had a mentor. I did have someone who gave me something I could aspire to be. He's a Yakuza though, so I guess that means you automatically hate him. He's your role model? He's Shintaro Kazuma, the captain of the Dojima family. If I could be half the man he is, I'd be alright. But I'm not even close to that. Shinji, the Yakuza have their eyes on you now. You can't stick around. Get out of Kamurocho. Find yourself someone you can trust. Someone to show you the ropes. Get out of Kamurocho? I can't do that, Kiryu-san. I'm not running away. Besides, you've got way more Yakuza on your tail than I do, don't you? I'm staying put. <laughs> have it your way. That's how you choose to live, like I said before. I won't argue with you. <laughs> yeah, it's my decision. Promise me this, though. Cut ties with your sorry little gang, and... If you're going to live in this town, I want you to figure out how to outlive me, Shinji. Hey, Kiryu-san, one last thing. What made you come save me? You're already at the top of the Dojima family's hit list. I'd take that risk. Who knows? I don't know why I do half the things I do. When I was a kid, I was alone too. I hadn't met Kazuma-san. I'd probably be a lot like you are now. See you around, Shinji. Kiryu-san, I think i found someone I can aspire to be. In fact, I hope someday I can be even better than you. No matter where you go, I'm going to be just a step behind. You just watch. Here you, son. Sir. <sighs> that's... That's probably one of the best sub-stories in the game. If I had to decide, I would say yeah. See in the notebook? I guess it's only main story people that get in there. Alright, but with that, that should only be two disco quests, then pocket circuit, and then that one. So let's go disco dancing. Now that Nishiki is not with me, I can actually do this. Technique to die for. Kiryu-kun. Who's it? Been a while, Kiryu-kun. Who are you? I'm Maiko Ishiodori, 
My last name means rock dance. And as that implies, I'm all about the dance floor. <laughs> it's only natural you don't know me. I watched you battle against Hisaki. Hisaki? Guy who challenged me to a dance battle here? Yes, him. I kept my eye on you ever since, Kiryu-kun. I thought you might have it in you to become a dancer who could keep up with me. Now I got the picture. Now you're determined I'm worthy enough, so to speak. I couldn't put it better. You're not just quick on your feet, I see. You've got real style, too. I bet you're a lady killer. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. When I see a man who's a better dancer than me, I can't help falling for him. I think you might have what it takes to keep up with me now. Maybe you can even drag me right over the top into ecstasy. Listen, Kiryu-kun, how about we have a dance battle that will set our souls on fire? Oh, I thought she was hitting on me, but all she wants is a dance battle, too. <laughs> sure, I'll show you some moves you'll never forget. <laughs> Sounds like we'll both get off on this. Lou. But before we begin, I ought to know, I'm good. Isaki can't even keep up with my shadow, so you'd better bring what you've got. Wouldn't have it any other way. Queen of Passion. I don't feel like sweating, I'll just do normal. Easy clap. <laughs> Looks like I won. What's wrong? Why did he get so down about it? Here you, son. Son. Here you, son. You're awesome. Whoa. No, it's more than that. I, I love you. <laughs> Your footwork. It left me dizzy and weak in the knees. Uh, I'm glad I managed to impress you, but really. The way you work your hips, too. So magnificent. Uh, right. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I think you have what it takes to become the top dancer in Kamurocho, Kiryu-san. Someday you'll even beat... Him. Him again. Yes, Maharaja's greatest dancer. They say he's a dancer from Osaka. He only arrived recently, but he's already made a name for himself here. His moves are like a fire on the dance floor. His gyrating hips were just dreamy. Ugh. You keep dancing your way to the top, Kiryu-san, and you're bound to run into him sooner or later. But don't worry. When that time comes, I'll be in your corner. Uh, uh-huh. I'm not sure I get it, but thanks. <laughs> okay, Kiryu-san. You have to dance again. Maybe with less clothes on. Amazing dancer from Osaka. I'd like to see what he can do. I'll just bring by the disco every so often. Alright, we only got one more. So I think... If we leave and come back, that might do it.
らっしゃいませおいや、でひえず。What is this guy's deal? Nobody can beat him. What's going on? <sighs> We couldn't even keep up with him. That's all you got then. That's what's passing for the dance scene in Tokyo these days. There's anyone with a chance of beating him. Yeah, my brother. No one else. Wait, that's Sasaki and Maiko. Hey. My brother! Here you, son. So glad you're here. What happened? Remember when I mentioned the greatest dancer of the Maharaja?、Uh, I think so. Some guy from Osaka, right? Right. That's him. His name is Ogita. There's no question he's the dance dancer in Kamurocho right now. Huh. Is that right? Extraordinary dance sensibilities, outstanding rhythm, and otherworldly charisma. I hate to admit it, but he's a disco star in every way he can be. We couldn't even pull off the stuff he was throwing out, let alone look cool next to him. You're the only one who has any chance of bringing him down. You're Maharaja's last hope. Please do this for us. As the last and best of Tokyo's Maharaja dancers, you have to take down that guy from Osaka. What? Me? Come on, you can't let some guy from Osaka waltz in here and claim he's the best in Tokyo. He's rubbing it in our faces. You have to take a stand for Tokyo and put him in his place. Here, you son, I feel the same way. I think you're the only dancer in Tokyo who has a chance at beating him. And if you were to beat him, here, you son. Let's just say my love for you would get much stronger. Ugh. Ugh. Guess it's up to me then. Got to admit, I want to see what this guy can do. I knew you'd do it. You can bet we'll be cheering for you. Go challenge him, my brother. You've got every dancer in Tokyo backing you up. He's right. Whether it's the streets or the disco, nobody from Osaka or anywhere else gets to beat us on our own turf. You there. Can't say your face is familiar. Who might you be? I'm Kiryu. I dance here at Maharaja. On behalf of Tokyo's dancers, I want to challenge you. Oh, yeah. So, you're Kiryu, eh? Been hearing about you here and there. Where it is, you're a hotshot. I wouldn't know. Accept my challenge and see for yourself. Oh, yeah? So, let me get this straight. When I beat you, I get to call myself the best dancer in Kamarocho with no more debate in the issue. Is that right?、Uh, you can do whatever you want. If you beat me. Heh. <laughs> Dance to the death, then. I dig it. Let's get down. Let's, let's go hard. Let's go hard. Okay. Ready for Kamarocho's dancing title match? Yeah. Sate.
a little close at the end, but I still get it. Looks like I'm the greatest dancer here. Damn it, you got me. Woohoo! My brother from another mother! Yeah, you son! Hey, you guys. Awesome. You're freaking awesome. I knew you could do it. Yeah, you son. You're too cool for words. <laughs> Thanks. Ogita. He danced well. I don't want to sound patronizing, but you danced on another level. Thanks. That takes the sting off, honestly. <laughs> you know, you got me this time, but I don't feel all that terrible about losing. Yeah? Oh, so? You made me realize there's still other great dancers out there I don't know about. Real freaking eye-opener. The world's a big place. There's always someone better. You never know. There might be other dancers in Osaka who are better than me. <laughs> damn right. I've been away from Osaka too damn long. I hardly know the dance scene down there anymore. Makes sense. So, what's next for you? Are you going to keep dancing? That's the plan, my man. See, I'm hoping to one day parlay my dance skills into taking a shot at coaching dancers. Huh. That's a good dream. You ever have kids down the road? You send them my way. I'll teach them how to dance. I'll even give you a discount. Maybe you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Well, here's a little something for the winner. Grats, man. Hmm? What is this? I ain't sure myself, actually. Here's some famous dancer in Osaka's been waving these around lately. How would you use this for dancing? Well, I got a split. Maybe we'll cross paths again. It's a dance-off waiting to happen. Sounds good. I'm winning next time, though. I should be going, too. Hold it, hold it. Hang on a second. Don't forget about us, my brother. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys were here, too. We were once rivals who burned up the dance floor together, but it's like I'm invisible now. <laughs> Ooh, but a cool and aloof Kiryu-san is also charming. Anyway, th that victory cements your status as the greatest dancer in Maharaja, brother. I'm so happy for you. I knew this was coming when I first laid eyes on you, Kiryu-san. Thanks. I owe this to you guys. <laughs> Alright, my brother. Let's keep the dance craze alive. Yes, let's make Maharaja the disco dreamland of all Japan. I say we wrap this up with a Maharaja cheer. You know it? All together now. Ooh, good idea. A cheer? I didn't sign up for this. Okay, all together now. Maharaja dancing. Fever! Fever. Huh? Kiryu-san, don't tell me you didn't know the cheer. Come on, my brother. And there we are. So now, as far as Kiryu goes, he has five more sub-stories. Four of those being Pocket Circuit. And the last one... You may know what the last one is. That's, that's for Kiryu. I'm gonna wait for two to get back to do Pocket Circuit. But next time, I'm gonna end it here by the way, uh, I've been player one, and next time, we do have a whole nother character to do. Oh boy, oh brother. But, I'll see you then. Bye bye.